If you've watched many of our videos, you already know Greg. We were out on the trail in Arizona and he agreed to show me around his Turtleback Getaway Trailer. So get your popcorn, we're doing another rig review. Greg loves turtles. I do love turtles now. Now I buy turtle everything, not turtle. I buy green everything. <laughs> it's an addicting thing. You're orange and green, like the orange, there's orange on everything. I don't know how you yes. got them to put orange on their logo. Uh, it was easy. I just called them when they first founded the company. Yeah. Like many, many years before I got the Jeep and said that's what they should do. Use orange stitching and all there this kind go. of stuff. Yeah. So you're going to show us everything on this, but what's yep. your absolute favorite part about heavy trip? The kitchen. The kitchen in the back. And I will have to say, when I'm when I'm seeing people with these, the kitchen is where I'm going to say the most. Just slides right out. Yep. You got a sink. A hot water sink. A hot water sink. A hot water sink. We'll show you the hot water heater later. Okay. And is that running off of this propane? Or hot water? Correct. Yes. Okay. That propane uh, is for the hot water heater and also the stove, hard piped in. So nice. So it's all together. All together. You got a couple of drawers. But my favorite part. Yep. Is being able to get up in the morning. On a cold morning, because we always wake up when it's cold, and washing my hands and face in nice <laughs> in hot water. Water, it just—it's refreshing. It's a great way to start the day. Does it stay warm, kind of like all night on a thermostat, or what's it doing? Uh, yeah, it, it'll turn on and then get all the way to temperature and shut off, and then it'll turn on and off periodically just to keep it plenty hot. Yes. Is there so when you're doing like food prep, are you where are you prepping it? Do you put a table? Down uh, I or? do. I have a six foot table that I carry around with okay. me, and that usually just goes right here. Lay out all the stuff. Yeah, nice. I just haven't brought it out yet. Uh, when I'm lazy, yep. want a hard shell after being out with you guys enough. Yeah, you got ready it. for a hard shell. The soft shell is great, but uh, I want to be able to leave all my bedding in there, and with this one, I can't. Yeah. So the hard shell is a, is a game changer, I think, on one level. In terms of just the speed of up and down. Yep. Pole tube. Uh huh. For putting, you know, so, poles and whatever. I have so never like fishing used rods. It. Fishing rods. Okay, whatever cool. you really want. Yeah. Um, a lot of people put uh, like the carpets and stuff oh, in there. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, just because it's quick and easy. Just check this out. That's pretty sweet. They've got a, a turtle logo beer opener. That is factory standard equipment. Standard. It comes on every turtle. That wasn't an option. Not an option. You will have one of those. So you've got so many. How much extra fuel do you carry, man? Okay, so total I have four of these three gallons a piece. Yeah. Uh, but I don't carry all of them all the time. Okay. Uh, technically, with all four of these full, uh, I'm overweight capacity of mm. the, the carrier. So okay. typically, I fill these up at the last gas stop I can. Yep. And then as soon as I can empty them into the Jeep, they're in the Jeep. Cause you can actually get the trailer all leveled, open this with them all full and you will be off level. It, it really does move it. Um, and, and that's an interesting point, which is, I, so when we're out and I know that I'm gonna be going to a gas station like 150, 200 miles from now, and I could still make it with what I have in the Jeep, mm -hmm. a lot of times I will unload my extra fuel. And part of the reason I'm doing that is to circulate the, the fuel so I'm not, I don't have gas sitting in a can for, you know, three, four months at a time. But the other part is really just to get the weight off my rack. Sure. So you're doing the I, same thing. I always leave one full. Okay. I don't ever empty all of them. And that's uh, for me. For you or <laughs> anybody else that you come across in the middle of nowhere that, you know, is, is low on gas. Me. It's just good to have some to help them out if they need it. I, we were in Death Valley and you gave my parents. Remember my parents came yeah. out a little unprepared? Yep. yep. And I feel like you gave them like nine gallons of fuel or something. Uh, yeah, all three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't yeah. think we ever paid you for that. But. No, that's okay. No, that was no. back when gas was six bucks a gallon. Yeah. <laughs> so we have an auxiliary propane tank. Okay. Uh, five pounds for whatever you want. Scottle yeah. or the propane fire pits, anything like that. Uh, here is my, it's so hard. This is another favorite part. Yeah. My hot water is there, shower. There's hot water that comes out of this guy yeah, too? Yeah, that's it. Oh my God. Mm. You have a hot water heater here. It okay. holds six gallons of hot water. So you have a nice reservoir of um, hot water open whatever up? you need. It's filthy in there, but it's, yes. It's all right. There may be some mud, there may be some dust. But... Well, you know, we use these things. So yeah. they're not clean most of their lives. Yeah. That's where you fill the water tank. It has a okay. 21 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, there's no gray water or anything like that. I get asked that a lot. Uh, it's just a fresh water tank cool. inside. 
Uh, and we can take a look inside. The what? The question I get asked the most is, can you open the lid with the tent open? The tent is the open. The tent is open. You All can right. see, yes, you can open and what? close the lid. Wow, this is crazy. That's... And this is where Amazing. everything gets stored. That's a lot. Yeah, of course it is. Uh, there is a lot of room in here. Um, the water heater does take a good portion of it, as okay. well as the water tank and kitchen, you yep. know. But you can put a lot of things on top of it, as you can see. Um, there's also an access door on the other side. So Beautiful. if you want to, most of the time I'm getting things in and out. In and out, I just use that access door. Okay. Yep. Uh, the big things, uh, privacy, shelter for the bathroom and whatnot, I do open this to get it in and out. Yep. Um, so, and then, you know, when you're done, even with the tent open, you just pull it back down. And that was that easy. And that's one arm. Done. One yep. arm. Nice. So, that is the number one question. Fire extinguisher inside. There's a fire extinguisher inside every turtle back. Another okay. standard. They come standard. Yep. Nice. As um, they should. Yep. And then you have mounts on both sides for, you know, shovels or axes or whatever you want. This tire. Yes. Is the same as what you run. Oh, yes, no? is it? it is the exact same tire size, All right. uh, the exact same wheel and everything. So uh, thanks to that, I carry two spares. So this one, because there was a time when we, when my spare went out. Yes. And I felt comfortable riding with you because I knew I could just take one of yours. Yep. And we'd still have one more. We would still have an extra one. Do it again. <laughs> uh, but that was one of the, you know, there's many selling points about this particular trailer, mm -hmm. but that was a big one for me is. We were going out, you know, we go out in the middle of nowhere and have the same tire. there's nowhere around. So it's just nice to have the comfort of having two spares because you never know. Yeah. So. How often are you using this guy? I don't really deploy this on very much and it's really, it's really just because I don't like it. Okay. Uh, it seems like every time I deploy it, it breaks. Okay. Um, they have a plastic hinge, so it's a fail, it's a fail point. So it breaks the plastic hinge instead of bending the arm. So it does kind of make sense that way, but the littlest bit of wind and it lifts it even off my shoulder as I'm deploying it. Plus you have to put legs down. Yeah. And I am over. It doesn't go legs without down. legs. Correct. Okay. So uh, this awning is going to get replaced very soon. Okay. Um, I put one like mine on it. I like mine. Exactly. That's good. Um, Overland Pros, by the way, is the one I run. I love it. And this is what allows the shower. So it just swings off of the nose. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take Look at this. Whatever you want. Now and now I'm taking a shower like right here. Now you're taking a shower right there. Up. Yep. Nice. That's uh, cool. you can use it as a bathroom or getting dressed or really whatever you want. But no. um, you know, it just swings out and there you go. Dude, that's awesome. And then all the electronics are up here in the nose box. Okay. Sorry, I have you a full of lots of everything. Okay. It works great for storage. Uh, you can fit a full propane tank in here because we go through a lot of it with the fire pits. Yep, we do. Um, but uh, two batteries. It has a solar charger, shore charger, 1,000 watt inverter. Um, pretty much all your electronics are up here. I've never had an issue with running low on battery. I've never had an issue with any of it. It just... Yep. The only thing that I've done on this, it, it rarely does the Jeep go out with the tra without the trailer. Very rare. Okay. So the trailer has probably about 30,000 miles on it now. Wow. Uh, and the only thing I've done is adjust the wheel bearings, which is just normal maintenance. Uh, I've not had a single issue with anything else. So I noticed you deployed this guy. Yes. Do you have to do that if you're sleeping in it? No. Uh, for okay. me, I just use this. If you're going to disconnect, okay. there's one on the back you deploy and yep. this one for stability. Yep. Uh, most of the time I stay connected. It's very rare I disconnect. But. Uh, a lot of times I just use this to get the nose up a little bit just okay. for level. So you use this to level it? Yeah. Right. yeah. Okay. yeah. Wall still connected the Jeep. It does lift up on the Jeep just a little bit. Um, but, you know, I put blocks under there to get the back of the Jeep up. So it's just a little fine tuning more than anything because yeah. I like being level. Like being Perfect. level? It's good. So now we've got some switches for the lights. Yes. So everything's there. You got. Uh, Exterior. exterior, interior, and turtle lights. What are turtle lights? Turtle lights are like a green underglow, basically. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, nice. it, it helps. I turn them on a lot at night just to help when we're locating the trailer because, you know, we spread out a lot of times. The, fire uh, the boys are interrupting us. All right, guys, that was funny. No more. Uh, if you do it again, you lose iPad time. Five minutes per beep. <laughs> they must be like, it's done. It. <laughs> no, they won't. They'll be like, five minutes of iPad, that's a lot. So, uh, a lot are of these. Times we start walking away and it's dark. Yeah. So, the turtle lights being on just helps me locate the trailer so I don't yep. wander into somebody else's tent.
Oh, nice. So you know yours. Yeah, exactly. And then you've got a couple yeah, of USBs. USBs. Cigarette lighter. Um, that is a pass-through for if you're running okay. the uh, inverter. And yep. you can run an extension cord out of that to whatever you want. And then the other one is the shore chargers. You can plug it into your house oh, to charge nice. the battery. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, there's also these same okay. ones on the back. Um, again, I've never had an issue electronic. The, the draw and on this electrically is so low. You said two batteries in it. It has two batteries. And it's charging off of the vehicle when you drive? Correct. Yeah, it has a Red Arc DC to DC charger. It's got and a Red Arc uh, in it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Those are, those are nice. Everything about this. Everything about it is pretty nice. Yeah. And then this is the door that you are mentioning you access into. Yeah. And then in terms of the suspension on this, you feel like it's it's good enough to kind of go everywhere that we go oh yeah this is an upgraded suspension from what the factory is factory okay. comes with the timber in suspension yep uh, this is an upgraded dual a-arm icon suspension with external reservoir shocks um, right so i've had this trailer airborne Going the tech, multiple bro. times sorry and uh, i've never had an issue so, so you yeah. upgraded it from the factory. It's is, is that an option? It's an option. Yeah, you just the fact the default is the Timberin, and then if you want to upgrade to the better suspension, um, it's an add-on. Cool man, yeah, but love it. I checked almost every box when I bought this because gosh, it's just all so you cool. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you fly this flag everywhere. People love it. I see so many comments on your Instagram. Yes. Yeah, we love seeing this thing. I fly one too, but mine is frayed and destroyed. <laughs> Tell yes. me about this flag. Uh, so it's made by Bad Flag. Okay. Uh, I absolutely love this thing. It, it just just sticks on the side with suction cups. Okay. Uh, so That's when you cool. want to take it off, you just yep. grab a pole and you're off. And it stays on at highway speeds. It's rated up to 90 miles an hour, and I've had it. <laughs> I won't say how fast I've had it, but close. How long have you had this thing? Uh, ooh, it's probably been almost a year now. Okay. And uh, once it goes on, I usually just don't take it down. I mean, I we like drove it, man. 40 miles of freeway speed here and yeah. it was flying the whole way. It draws a lot of attention, but the flag is designed. I love this and flag. And we were on we were on light. the freeway and it's yes. not it's not torn up. So no. that's, that's pretty sweet. And this flag has been on here already for about a month. Cool. Um, it's very lightweight. So what I really like about it is it starts flying at low speed. So, I mean, you only have to be going. Oh, interesting. So yeah, yeah. And, it, so and it'll light. stretch right out. It just starts flying, even going really slow. All right. And then when it's time to put it back on, I mean, you just stick it on and a couple pumps on. These are the pumps to okay. put the suction cups on. Sweet. And you just hit it a few times until it stays down. And you don't go. see the white, which I didn't do a good job, but. Okay. No, you just so did. You, you got it. All right. Thanks, man. And you're done. And it'll be on there for three more days or however long. Uh, Very cool, man. Fly that flag. Love it. Every day. <laughs>